pineapple. That grows, man. <laughs> That beat, that beat thumb, boy. That beat is hard, though. It grows up. Like I'll send it to you. It's, a, it's like a three-minute really? three long <laughs> thing. I need, I need somebody to rap to that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, y'all, to another episode of the Audio Audacity Podcast. I am your host, Mario Brooks. Across from me, we have my wife. Who are you? April, Boss Lady Brooks. Next to you, you have who? Texas, homegrown, bam, bam, bam. Across from you, next to me, we have who? My name is Andrea Aylor. How y'all doing? All right, so today's episode. Today's episode is about um, the bullshit with nursing homes. (laughs) Nursing home bullshit. But today we are sponsored by, as always, with Gia Turner Realtor. Now is the time to buy because interest rates are low, historically low. Gia has a team, a credit manager, to help you clean your credit legally. Legally is the, the key word. And a finance manager to help you get the new home of your of your choosing based on your credit. No, Not too high, not too low, just right. Let them get you in your dream home right now. Not now, but right now. Today, ASAP. And it's a seller's market. So uh, with that being a seller's market, the time is the now na- the time is now to sell. Sell your property and get top dollar for your property, your home, your land, and whatever else it might bring. Um, and you, you get a nice little profit at the same time. So call Gia, G-I-A Turner, T-U-T-U-N-E-R, Realtor and Associate by Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, give her a call 314-323-1589 or go to www.homesbygiaturner.com. And now on to the show. So today we're talking about, this is episode 10 of the Audio Audacity podcast. And today we're talking about the audacity of nursing homes and the bullshit involved in nursing homes. Because, you know, there are, you expect to put a, your loved one in a nursing home and have them take care of that person because you aren't physically able to do so with, with time constraints and anything else you have going on, maybe even work. And you expect for your loved one to go in and be safe. So that way, you know, you can have a peace of mind as well as, you know, make sure that you can live properly knowing your loved one is taken care of. But that's not always the case. So what is considered negligence in a nursing home? Allow me to tell you. According to Centers for Disease Control or the CDC, any action or inactions that fail to meet an elderly person's basic needs in a nursing home uh, rises to the level of nursing home negligence. Some of these basic needs include water, food, clothing, shelter, hygiene, and essential medical care. Um, some of the complaints that are you know, usually issued in such things uh, situations are slow response to calls, poor food quality, uh, lack of social interaction, disruption of sleep, and most of all, staffing issues. That's very important, staffing issues. Right now, we have a person that knows a lot about these situations. Um, Andrea, please share with us your input on some of the BS that goes on in nursing homes. Well, first of all, they're extremely short staff. There's not enough people to meet your loved one's needs. Trust me. And, and it happens at a lot of them. Really? Yes. You have people, they sit in their feces and their urine for X amount of time. And you, you, you don't mean to. It's just not enough help. Mm. And if you can, you know, a person, I feel, should be able to die in their home. But that's not always the case. So you turn to a nursing home. And trust me, the biggest issue is not enough staff. And why is it understaffed? I really don't know. They say there is a nursing shortage, but CNAs come a dime a dozen. So it should be plenty of CNAs. No offense to CNAs. I used to be a CNA, but they don't even have them. Um, Is the pay adequate for a CNA? Yeah, it is. And then where I work, you know, they have nursing agencies. Or if they're short, they could call this agency, and they'll send someone in to help you. No problem. So, really. There's no excuse. No. But everything is short staff nowadays. People don't want to work. 
Social Security. I mean, uh, COVID. unemployment. Unemployment, yeah. Yeah, I mean, unemployment is still paying people not to go to work, so a lot of places are short-staffed. Hell, Popeye's is short-staffed. Damn, I worked point. in both of them, nursing home and Popeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, but they nursing homes, right now. they've been like this for, for the years. Yeah. 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 And it's such a lawsuit. Yeah. Like you said, you can do one little thing Oh, wrong. nursing homes get sued all the time yeah. for negligence. <laughs> And being short staffed, that's a point. Did you read? Yeah. Uh, slow response to calls, poor food, food quality, no, staffing no, issues, no. disruption of sleep, right. uh, lack of social interaction. Yeah. yeah, it's just, it's bad. I mean, you got to think, first off, I think teachers, nurses, doctors get paid a lot of money. But nurses sometimes get paid a lot of money. Nurses pay But your CNAs, the ones that really do all the bull crap. Are the ones that are right, short staffed. They could get I mean, more, I'm paid. You know, but they don't. But it, it's not an excuse because they use agency and they have some CNAs that come in there and they make X amount of dollars, but they don't want to pay. That's what Nursing I'm saying. Nursing homes make millions of dollars a month. That's my point. Why can't y'all pay? Y'all That's be my point. Cheap. Just like school teachers. They're underpaid. They teach our children, yeah. and they're underpaid. They so raise now, people's children, too. Ex- basically raise, yeah. You mm-hmm. feed them, everything, mm-hmm. at school. So anything with nursing homes. I'm taking care of the loved one that you either can't take care of or don't want to take care of. But where I work at, these people pay like $10,000 a month. My point exactly. So why so can't you pay them? Why can't you get yeah. what you're paying for? Yeah. Right. right. That's a lot of money. That's a lot, lot of money. money. Huh. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But uh, boss, you got any questions, comments, or concerns about nursing home? Uh, I'm on both ends. <laughs> when of can you get one? <laughs> I'm, you said what? <laughs> when can you get one? Right about now. Oh, she's she, she tired. Yeah, <laughs> tired. I'm listening though. I'm, yeah, I'm right here. I'm listening. It's okay. Uh, she, she, she's okay. Yeah, way back in the day, I was uh, I was a CNA for a minute. I did my extern at a uh, old folks' home and whatnot, and a lot of them didn't want to wipe ass. A lot of them didn't want to turn turn their people. Like, they people would still be in the same position at 9 a.m. They in the same position at 3. And it's like, you ain't even turn yeah. your people. They getting bed sores, and they not reporting it. And it was a lot. And then some of the, um, where I worked, it was in a small town in Illinois. And um, a lot of those people there that we were current for, they were racist. So a lot of them be like, I ain't doing nothing for him. I'm just going to get this check today. Mm-hmm. And he didn't cuss her out and call her all kind of black bitches this, that, and the third. But, I mean, this is your job, though. If this is what you signed up to do, do exactly. your job. Right. If you yeah. don't want to do your job, I've been leave. called out kind of nigga bitches. I have, too. Okay. I, I mean, it's it's and got really and salacious, look, you but you still. You, so the joke on you, but. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, but a lot of people be out of their mind, though. Sometimes yeah. them old folks but be out of their mind. When you look at me and you see my skin is brown and you call me a nigga, you, you know what you're saying. You know what you're Yeah, doing. but that's because people, that's nine out of raised, ten times, they're raised up. Time. Yeah, and then especially mm-hmm. if they have... Uh, don't make that? it right, but that's... No, I don't make it right. That's I don't, how I don't they make it right raised. at all. Right, I mean, you have people that are demented and that have Alzheimer's Dementia, disease. Dementia, that's what I was trying to say. But when you yeah. look up at me and you see that my skin is brown and you call me a nigga, bitch, you yeah. know what you're saying. But you've been saying that your whole life. But to me... If, you you, if you I'm mean. at the whim of a person who's taking care of me, whether she's getting paid or not, and let's say I'm racist, I don't like white people, I wouldn't dare let it be known because that person could could pinch the shit out of me mm. or something, do something to me mm. that I wouldn't. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me or wipes my ass. That's, that's what I, that's I got enough common that's sense. That's slave mentality, though. When you've been doing that your whole life and you've been privileged. And then you, you stuck in you this stuck. body. So it's, it's, it, it, you, sometimes you stuck like that. Like, yeah. you can, and then you old on top of that. Yeah. I, I mean, used to threaten them right back. You know I had somebody <laughs> tell me he was going to bite me. I was like, if you bite me, I'm going to bite you back. So whatever mm-hmm. you give me is what I'm going to give you. Now, come on, let's do this. You know, get your, get your pants on if you want to sit up today. If you want to sit in your chair today. You know, you got to talk to them almost like they kids, but in their head, they not. They grown, and they back in 1954, and you a nigga that's touching on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you got to kind of be in their head at the same time to keep yourself safe. But we getting off track, though. Um, well, that 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 sounds like that sounds like that sounds like a good, that, like a good fantasy. Yeah. Like we in so 1950, we in 1954, and I got a, and I got a nigga touching on me. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigger bitch, touch me. Yeah, yeah, nigger bitch, yeah. touch me. I mean, I've heard it all. Usually, I had to take it. Yeah, they just do it willingly. Right. It is good. It's in and it's right mine. Yeah, like suck my. Okay, baby. 
We not doing she that. She said the administration needs to be held accountable for being short-staffed because they don't want to pay. Exactly. Yeah. They yeah. do not want to pay, and they can. Like I said, again, it goes. They to have. Yes, they, they make millions of dollars yeah. a month. Yeah. Like, right. And then you they know, have the I hear from the so. grapevine too. Like, if they save so much money, bonuses are mm. given out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But okay, what about these sores on my ass? I'm in here with a disease, dying. Y'all ain't got enough staff to come in here and tend to me. Mm -hmm. That there ain't right. Right. Well, but shit, that bonus look good. Mm -hmm. You give me an extra two thousand. You know, I wouldn't do it because you know you reap what you sow. So I'm not a I'm not a fan of reaping what you sow. <laughs> and you know then when I mean? a nursing home is extremely short staffed, like the up authorities are supposed to come in and help, like the DON, the ADON, the nurse managers. And somebody on yeah. <laughs> We had, that, that, we had so. that a few times. And that they feel like at this point, I'm up the ladder. I don't want to touch nobody's behind. I did that already. Right. I'm not going to do it again. Mm -hmm. It's just, it takes a special kind. I ain't going to lie. But yeah. then when state being... come in, everything is okay. You have enough staff. Mm -hmm. And they know when state's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody dropping the ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you have enough staff. You have enough supplies when state's coming. Then they stay later. We don't see y'all at like. 6 o'clock. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all ain't never here till 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I be wanting to say it's so bad. Oh. <laughs> but stay here, y'all here to 6 o'clock. They want to clean Y'all out thing. of here by 4.30. Like, whatever. It does. Shit, they might use the PTO and try to get out of there a little bit sooner. Ooh, show up all the all. straws But if right possible, <laughs> if, if a person can stay at home and die, that's the best yeah. bet. Yeah. And then, you know, some of the people get cussed die. out and talked to any, any kind, kind of way. way. And they are confused and will hit you, and some staff will hit you back, too. Yeah. I mean, but even then, I, I know from a personal standpoint, even then you can have two of them go in when it's a volatile person that you're taking care of. You yeah, can't have somebody you go got in enough with help you with two to people. Be, yeah, right, from the get for just one person. Yeah, I know we didn't we didn't too much have that issue, but yeah, I've I've seen where they had to send in two at a time to certain people because they would act out while well, out throwing feces, doing all mm. kind of. I mean, this is Throw like shit. going there yeah. with it. But yeah, you gotta have you gotta have the manpower for one, power. let alone two. I'm gonna pick up this shit. And I mean, you really got it on your mind, cause you know why? Cause you you in this body and you stuck. But like I said, but not in here. At the end of the day, Just, some of the people really be sick and yeah. old, elderly. Yeah, and then in order to move into certain nursing homes, like the one that I have, they take all your assets. Mm. Like if you have X amount of dollars in the bank, they're entitled to that. Whoa! You have to sell uh -huh. your home. Uh -huh. You know, some of them people live in half a million dollar homes. So uh -huh. I done gave y'all all this. And I'm not getting the proper care. Mm -hmm. Hold on, why they gotta do that though? It's something regarding the state. I'm saying they're state funded. That's like if you get food stamps and all that type of stuff. They don't want you to have this much. It's so a, if we gonna help you. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, they can't touch like your retirement, something that you've worked for, but your assets, yes. Mm -hmm. God damn. So, I, so if I, so before I got put in nursing home, if I had a. a Nice car, a nice home. I gotta sell all this, all these assets off to give to the state to pay for my, for my care. Pretty much, Pretty Ex much. Pretty except much. for my four hundred one k and my retirement. Pretty and then much. somebody wow. gonna be dipping in that. And That's then if you want to live on like the where I work mean. at, they they pay like ten to thirteen thousand dollars a month to live up there because it looks different. Mm. If you get what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, you know what? Because I was I was on doing this investigation. I was online looking at some of the biggest sites, biggest uh, nursing homes with the most citations and some of the stuff they've been through. A lot of them out there in West County. A lot of them. A lot of them out there in West West County. A lot of them. And then I, I don't want to say no names, but I, I was like, the rich people nursing yeah, homes. and the, the, the rich people nursing homes are the ones that had the, they had the most citations. Because I'm the most prejudiced. Yeah. Most money. Yeah. The most prejudiced. Yeah. Because they got the most money. Nine out of ten is them. And then, you know, regardless of the prejudice, and they are, but if I don't gave you my house, my bank account, my boats, and my cars, I got to wait 45 minutes for my call light to be answered. Mm. 
Yeah. You know what? I feel like that way with my private insurance. So, yeah. <laughs> nah, me too, for real. I feel that way with my yeah. private insurance. If like, got we got insurance. the best of the best. And you mean mm-hmm. to tell me I can't get this pain medicine that I've been asking for? And we had to do that. We yeah, had we to go out to uh, too, a certain so. county and in they order gave for them to, to treat you. me right. Yeah. Oh, down, yeah. Mm-hmm. Down in the, in the, in the North County, they like, oh, you When we lived in Kansas sister. City, we had to go. We was living north. We had to go further north. Further north. St. Joseph, mm-hmm. I think it was. Mm-hmm. And then wow. we lived in where we stayed now. We went to <laughs> some in the area. Had to go out yeah. to St. Charles, damn near to Wentzville to get some good care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With our That's insurance. I'm like, I got the, the best insurance. Come yeah. on. This is a money game. Smart I stand on family because it's so different out there. It really is. It yeah. is. so yeah. different. They it is. different. You got way more accessibility to things. They're willing to assist you in different areas of your life. Mm. Not, to, not to change the, the, the subject, my brother and his, well, my brother's fiance lives out that way. And he was, he was, he called me one day. My brother don't get excited for shit. I'm the excited, I'm the excitable one. <laughs> my brother don't get excited for shit. This motherfucker called me and said, man, there's a Popeye's around the corner from her crib. Nigga, that shit was fresh. He was yeah. he was excited because he went to a Popeye's yes. and went out there in St. Charles yeah. County yeah. on Fallon and the Harvester, the- and it was like, it was fresh. The, everything was, he was like, man, it tastes so fresh, the, 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 the meat. The, the, I'm like, damn, okay. It's a Schnooks in West County. I'll say West County. They have like a, um, a restaurant. They play music. This mm-hmm. is at a Schnooks, mm-hmm. and they have a wine room mm. where you can sit down and taste the wine. They got there in Deerberg too. I did watch that. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. 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 We couldn't have that. But years, mm-hmm. but years no. ago, years ago though, Schnooks, all Schnooks had uh, restaurants in them. Did they? Yes, they did. Because I remember when I was little, we used to go to Schnooks every Sunday and get pancake dinners oh. at the one on three six seven in Parker. Sure did. Wow. I and then and then one. and then the Schnooks that they built on three six seven in Chambers. Right before they put the pop, the grandpa's next to it, mm. that had a wine cellar in it. Mm. But that was, but that's back when white folks lived in Castle Point. That's yeah. how seven, in the late late seventies, mm. early eighties. So this is going to show you how Schnooks was well, the friendliest I store. You, was I, the friendliest store in town. I never heard of a Schnooks <laughs> till I was about 12, 13. Then I, yeah, I didn't see one. Yeah, we had national eyes. Yeah. yeah, nationals. And we had Kroger national and, and Kroger. Kroger. They're mostly down south. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had back Kroger. down south. There's a Kroger in Troy, Missouri. Yeah. yeah. I never yeah. seen a Kroger until I moved here. I mean, oh, uh, I got one for you, Big B. Big B is where we where we used to shop. I'll, y'all, some of y'all know. Y'all know. My my partners know. <laughs> down there off of, uh, <laughs> she, what I want to say, Goodfellow. Big B, you you hear me, Trina? I remember Big B. Yeah, they, they those are for a little while. You walk in, what it is a big B? Like it. It's a it, was, it, was, it was a grocery store. It's it not there. Like smack dab uh, in the middle uh, of the a hood. grocery store. Or you ever a been hood to Pete's? Uh, gro- no, it's a grocery, it's a grocery store, store. Uh, uh, in the middle of the hood. hood. You know, uh, now you back in in, eight, in the eighties and seventies, that's what it was. You know, you had grocery stores in the hood. Now you got hood stores because mm-hmm. stores in the hood don't last no more cause due to do due, due to uh, robberies and and and, and theft and, and the A-Rabs will last a little longer. Yeah. yeah. It's they something about the A-Rabs though. Well, they can get that off. Why they don't touch the A-Rabs though? Because they not playing with them. They hey, probably buddy. got like 12 AK-47s yeah. back there. And, and plus, and, 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 and they the usually they, <laughs> and they usually find the right people to sell <laughs> so their little dope. Because right. they be selling dope uh-huh. they be under the table. The right they sell dope and they fuck all women under the table. Yeah. Now, they don't fuck them under the table now. They well, they above they the table. Under the table? No, they don't. <laughs> they above above table. Nah, they think they blacker than us. Yeah, no. they, they they fuck yeah, they fuck them. Going to the hair store and going to the Empire Beauty. Hey, you, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah, they hip. It is what it is. Yeah, they hip. Let me just I was say. like, oh, okay then. All right, all right. So let so let's get back on on track. But that 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 is a good uh good topic though. Uh, is it difficult to sue a nursing home? Here we go. Here's this is the question. Oh, okay. And that's the question. Now here's the answer. Is it difficult to sue a nursing home for ne- for neglect for being neglect? I'm sorry for neglect. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. The answer is no. An yeah, experienced what? attorney can help make suing a nursing home for negligence simple. Yeah. Personal injury lawyers that have handled other nursing home cases can build a case against a long term care facility and work to get the highest amount possible for you. So. I'm a lawyer and a doctor. So it's right. So it's not <laughs> difficult to sue right. nursing homes. And nursing homes get sued all the time, all the time. for negligence. Yeah. And especially if you haven't seen, suppose you haven't visited with your mother in about a month. And you, some people, 
they'll go under the covers and, and they have a right to. That's their mama. Yeah. Look all up under her arms and stuff. Yeah. And then you see this big old sore What's this? on your mama and it hasn't been reported to you. Nursing homes try to hide a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Man, true. if I go in a nursing home, which my mama wouldn't be in one, because I'm not. Yeah, my kids are. Between already. my sisters and me, we not. that's not mm. going to happen. But <laughs> if for some strange reason I had to put my mother in a nursing home and I find a bruise on her or some 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 crap on her mm -hmm. or anything that I didn't paid all this money for her to be off in here, I'm going to jail. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about under the jail. It's mm. this lady. No, I'm going to prison. Skip the, jail. The audacity. Yeah, I'm, yeah. The now, audacity. It's this mm -hmm. lady where I work. She fell out of the bed. Black eye. Her son hadn't seen her in about a month. He come visit his mama. Ain't nobody called him, said nothing. He walk in, his mama eye black. Mm. So and how you think call. he feel? Yeah. Sure. And I mean, it happened in the middle of the night. And you know, you don't usually call someone at three in the morning, but at least by nine o'clock, ten o'clock that morning. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. should have known his mama had a black eye. Let out. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's as soon as you see it. That's like being left on red. <laughs> you <laughs> saw her this morning. So before you uh -huh. went to lunch, you know And when and when he came in bitching, that's all they were saying. He had a brain. <laughs> Can't hear <laughs> nothing. Can't hear nothing. <laughs> What is that? Charlie Brown. What is? Oh, that's yeah, all they heard. Remember, you, remember, they mama you remember the Charlie Brown specials when the kids talk to the parents, and that's how the, the parents uh, talk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Womp 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 your mom fell out the bed. Well, one, that's, one, yeah, one, that's one. all I heard. Yeah, I had the kind of kids that ain't gonna put I me blacked in the home. Out. It's just never gonna happen. Like I know my son Damon is. He gonna take me in the the day after Mario call him and say, "Hey, your mama acting a little screwy." All right, I got her. <laughs> but you know, stuff happens, and just because you put your parent in a home, don't mean you don't care. Yeah. Some people don't have the space, you know, all yeah. the time. All the time, yeah. If it's a reason, I mean, I yeah. know my friend, her mama judge. kept jumping up and turning on the burners. But I would and say, them. if your mother, father, whoever's in a nursing home, you need to come. Check on them. Several times a week. Mm -hmm. Have your family Make your rotate. Make presence known and mm -hmm. strong. Yep. They'll get better attention. Okay, so. Yeah. And, and that's a shame. But that's how it's got to go. Mm -hmm. I'm the queen of that. Yeah. For school, all my inmate homies. <laughs> my ex-husband, them people knew me so well to the point where the administrator called me and said, first he told my ex-husband when he's locked up, tell your wife to call her goons off. Whoa. Hell yeah, because no. I was like that. If I see you mistreating, they put him in the hole for a little reason. The little man kind of like me on dates, so now you're going to mess with him because I'm not giving him in. Call my house. I said, oh, okay, you want to play? By the time I got done, that man called that man and said, can you please tell your wife to call her goons off? And then the man called me first and said, call your goons off. Leave my husband alone and leave me alone. I don't play that. So you think my mama sitting in a nursing home? Mm. Chuh. If you have to put your parent in the nurse at home, mm. come several days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flat out. Pop-ups. And that's how we, we had to do my cousin like that when she was in hospice. And she was at the end of her life. And, I mean, the family was coming up there in droves, but we were, you know, we was coming in, like, in shifts. Mm -hmm. And it was always somebody there. Okay, yep. she need to be cleaned up. Okay, y'all need to turn her. You know, when her mind finally started to actually go, they knew, let's, you know, be on top of it. You know what I'm saying? But we was up there, and up until the minute she died, we was up there in shifts the the entire three weeks she was up there. Is the nursing field, in terms of pay, from the top, from the bottom on up to the administrator, does everyone get paid a decent wage I would to do say, their job? I mean, somebody from the outside looking in might say yeah, but no. Hell mm. no. Not for what they have to do. And then the administrator, no offense to them, you know, they have a home to run. And a lot of times they're left in the dark because it's stuff they don't know about. But they get paid well. They walk in making six figures. Shit. I just need to. I so, just need everybody to do their reports. If, if I would, if, if I've got this popped in my head right now. Um, from okay, we got the low level person. What's what's a low level person? A CNA. As far as nursing, yes. Okay, yeah. then what's a bus a bus a bus? Well, CNA? I would say the low uh, NA. Um, you could be a nursing assistant, assistant then you become certified. So mm -hmm. so NA, then CNA, and then yeah. 
then like CMT, uh-huh. then like LPN, and then RN. That's CMT. Okay, and then above the RN is the administrator. Be- above the RN, mm-hmm. you have the DON. Well, the ADON, the Assistant Director of Nursing, mm-hmm. then the Director of Nursing, and then the Administrator. Okay. They run the whole show. Okay. But it's stuff he or she don't know about. Right. Damn. Because it's too late. Mm-hmm. And I mean, but is that, is that hard to do, though? What? I feel like uh, if you run in a particular company, you need to be on top of your game if you're going to run it, like... I mean, I think they need to be turning in these reports. They yeah. need to be checking in behind these people. And I don't mean like physical. And I'm, but most places they have daily meetings. Yeah, that's But what if I was it's something say. we don't want you to know, we ain't going to tell you. <laughs> under, the, under the rug. Is it, is it easy to hide a lot of shit from everybody? If they're not coming down on well, the Well, I worked at this place once. So. And this CNA, she just came up missing. You know, I make rounds. Oh, she was. And I want to say I noticed her missing about 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, she came back at like 5.30. Where the hell she been? Papa. She went home to check on her baby daddy. Ah, uh, and she checked on mine. <laughs> like, whatever. Well, anyway, I did what I was supposed to do. I wrote her up, and me and the shop stewardess presented her with the write-up in front of the DON. I mean, you <laughs> did nothing happen. Wow. Come to find out, the administrator did not know and this was the assistant director of nurses' niece. She gave her a good talking to. Oh. Nepotism at Nep- best. Nepotism. At its best. Bullshit. See, that's that's what this title was all about. And you have a lot of that, especially the in the ghetto nursing, nursing homes. That oh, that's family, all family stuff. Up in there anyway. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's crazy. The nieces, the nieces, the the in-law nieces. The yep. nieces. Yep. Mm-mm. All the family members. Yeah. Crazy. So I'm like, mm, they not presenting these reports. Yeah, they're not reporting it. But There's usually a... the ghetto nurse at homes, they get the gunshot victims who can't go home with their mamas, stuff like that. Mm. The junkies. Mm. The alley people. Oh, not the alley people. And what's the major oh. differences in, you know, that's a good topic or a good broad uh, subject. So what is the difference between the alley people from the, the, the drug, <laughs> the drug abusers, the gunshot victims who can't go home, who need some kind of... Well, alley people, walk. they like the homeless the people. Homeless. Like, you could be so short, they'll be like, we need some more people in here. They'll go driving around wow. throughout the alleys. And bring people Let in. me take you to the hospital, get you a diagnosis. We got somewhere for you to live. Wow. Are you serious? I didn't know that. I'm very serious. Damn. And then they mix these people in with elderly people. That's not good. <laughs> it's nasty. That can't be good. Like so do they population. share rooms? Yeah, if they have to. <laughs> like, I don't even like that in the hospital, though. It, it yeah, could be four in the room. Me, too. I don't, I don't, I'm going to pay for whatever insurance I got to pay for to keep a private room. <coughs> yeah. How has the, the, the nursing field been affected? like everyone else with the whole COVID thing, with the different well, variants. Overflow. Not, not, I wouldn't, well, if you have a, what you call that, an essential job, you really weren't affected. But um, nursing homes were short way before the COVID mm. came. Mm. The, but this can be used as an excuse. Yeah, I and I don't, and you know, some people wouldn't go to work knowing that they could be exposed to that. But nursing homes been short way before COVID. Mm. And, Okay. All right. This been going on for years. Short staff, because I know the the people. How about the people? Like, did y'all get an overflow of patients? Um, as far as COVID, point? yes. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. They had made a special hall for nothing but people with COVID. Oh my gosh, you say hall? Yeah, two and twenty was something else, but Damn. that COVID stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as a nurse, you can make a lot of money. I made like a hundred and twenty that year. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you worked a lot of overtime, didn't you? I did. You had no choice. Because you couldn't go nowhere. You couldn't have no fun. I might as well might go as to work. Well work. I don't mm-hmm. want to sit in home all day. Twilly. You couldn't even take online classes. If that was on pause for a moment. Damn. Now you think, okay, well, I know me. When I wanted to get into the nursing field, it's because moralistically I wanted to help people. So that being the case, do you feel like that the people that work at nursing homes don't care about those patients and just won't? The check. They don't want to wipe ass, but they want that check. 
that takes place. But then, too, you have upper management. They really don't care. Yeah. Y'all not sending nobody in here to help. To really help. There's been times I've been the charge nurse, the CMT, and a CNA. Shit. In the same shift. I've done three jobs. Do you think I got a thank you, mm -hmm. a no. lollipop, a cookie? A raise, no. a free a meal, before. nothing. No. I didn't get right. anything. Yeah. It's like, okay, she here. You know what need to be done. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. And they knew this before they left home for the day. And oh. they went home anyway. That just, oh. hurt. that just hurts my heart. <laughs> Mind, Mind blown. blown. <laughs> Mind blown. And then you have people, they'll call their family. Like, my call light's been on for an hour. They feel they're being ignored. You're mm -hmm. not. It's nobody to answer it. Not being funny. Damn. That's mm -hmm. fucked up. But COVID messed up so much, though. Yeah, it did. And it's still doing it with and the different still, variants. Yeah. It's, yeah. What is it, Omicron me now? Om Omicron. Omicron. Omicron, yeah. Before it was Delta and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. there we go. Um, another way of abuse in the nursing homes are uh, verbal abuse. Mm. What is considered verbal abuse? Verbal abuse is when a nursing home staff member makes a statement that makes the resident feel emotional pain, distress, or fear. This is considered verbal abuse. It can be especially distressing to the victim because the employee is in a position of authority. I can see how that would be scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see that. Mm -hmm. You know, they're already elderly and they can't lots of they can't Sit do. Your ass. Yeah. Listen, I told Shut you. Your ass. I told you the story of the nurse that just kept giving me my my pain med, my delighted. And kept making every you, four hours. And kept letting, the, passing you out, yeah. And I kept out. passing out, like, no, I don't want it right now. She, oh, hit now me, if you tell her you don't room. want it, and she give it to you anyway. Yeah, that's she abuse. Did that. She did that several times. I like, would have reported her. That way, I she ain't gotta bother with me for four hours. She coming there, give me that shot, roll right back out. I'll be like, man. I, I see her coming in. She comes. What were you again. within your right mind at the time? Yeah, I just had a migraine, um, and I had to light it listed you know every four hours or as needed and, and if you uh, didn't ask my, for my it brain was lifting you know and yeah if i would have asked for it like in the beginning i was well no offense either but you have a right to be where you a pain in the ass patient no oh, okay if i have a migraine i barely want to talk quiet yeah you she sit and there in the get, dark and we had the kind of insurance where they give me a room all the way down at the end of the hall so ain't nobody bothering me ain't nobody even walking past my room okay i have my own room and, and you know what that's a shame you do pay for that <laughs> yeah and they bring well, we my meds on so, yeah. But this particular one, overnight, I had to keep getting up to use the bathroom. But I'm like, y'all still got this bag. Like, I'm still getting these, this drip, and I still got to go to the bathroom. All the saline and whatnot. So yeah. she didn't want to keep helping me up because I was a fall risk because of what medicines I was taking and so on. And she did. She was like, she didn't care what I said. She come over to the bed, boom, That's abuse. and roll out. I would have reported her. Don't Report her how I couldn't stay up. No, and just think, no, <laughs> suppose you'd have had to really pee. Pee, yeah. And you woke up, and because you were so yeah. high, you fell mm -hmm. and, like, bust your head. Yeah. yeah. She got you high like that. She had me got out of like bed that. without her knowing it. Yeah, oh, man. Ooh, I tried wee. to get out of bed, and it's it just not working. Lay my butt right back down. But, yeah, and I, I, I knew then, I'll be honest with you, I said then, I'm not coming back to the hospital. I don't care. Care. That was that North County Hospital, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I said, uh -huh. I don't care. Yeah, that's, I don't care. I'm and that's not the reason back. why I stopped, we stopped taking you to that one because so be a back. lot of people don't fuck with that well, see, but, hospital. Yeah, but like I say again, when you're in the hood like that, most people are dope fiends. I hate, you know I mean? Or yeah. some type of drug addict. So it's feel like, oh, they want it anyway, so why not just give it to them? But you didn't just made her a dope fiend. She don't even And especially take if I've told you no when yeah, you don't give it to me. I was like, please, give me, just give me a second. I yes. just want to be up. I want to sit on the side of the bed. Nope, she didn't. She didn't even listen to me. It was like whatever the was going on in her. Strong. Yeah. That little bitty pill. That's, that's and, 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 oh, and I was getting a shot. IV, yeah. I was getting it in shot form because they sent me home so on you the felt pills. it right away. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. Oh, like, no, yeah, no, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> you can't say but two no, words. No. <laughs> and she kept doing it. I said no. I said no. I said no. Don't get me wrong, I, I love some no. Dilaudid, but... You trying to tell her what's going on, and all she yeah. heard was... I said this no. Are, this is all she heard. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I said no. Uh, 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 uh. Don't 
that lady didn't even look at me. No. She went straight to that IV. Straight to my wall. She didn't say, hey, hey, no. Mrs. Brooks, how are you? I'm here to administer my, your Dilaudid. No. We're going to change the drip on your IV. She didn't say no. none of that. She walked over there and put that in that bag. That is some crazy ass shit. Right. Okay, and how do you deal with a, a verbal abuse? On the flip side of that, how do you deal with a verbal abuse of patient? How do you deal with a verbal well, abuse oh, of patient? Well, you have to remember they're the patient and you're yeah. the professional. Yeah. They might mean it. They could be talking from delusions, but you're mm -hmm. supposed to maintain your professionalism. Mm -hmm. And if need be, you know, words affect people differently. You can switch patients with somebody else if it's somebody else to switch patients with. Well, yeah. How many nurses should be on a staff at a time? It depends on how many. Like, I work on the floor. It can hold, like, 35 people. Suppose they have, like, 30 people. It should be myself, someone to pass out the medicine, and at least three CNAs. It's been times it was just least. me and one other CNA. Mm. Damn. That's so crazy. And if you got one that done crapped on itself or got to go to the restroom or... Got hey. sick, threw up. So you could take 30 minutes to an hour just in one person's room. Yes. Yeah. And you got 29 others waiting. Yeah. If they call light on for exactly. 45 minutes. Because that's what how long it took you to get at the other mm -hmm. patient. Mm -hmm. So imagine your mama calling you in distress. Coming I've been up waiting up. for an hour. And Coming ain't nobody up. came down in this room. Mm. Yeah, we get that a lot. Mm. And then so whatever they, they tell these people, you, you know they complain to the upper management. I'm sure they're coached as to what to say. To say. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we insure you and all that. That's why you can't insure me a shit. Show me. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm coming. I'm on and my I way. better see something. Oh, like. we've had that too. Like pop they'll ups. pop up. Like my mama yeah. just called me, said she been waiting for an hour, and then they will pause, they will look <laughs> around, like where the other help at. Yeah. Then they attitude to change. It's, like well, shit, on them. it ain't y'all fault. Right. Yeah. And then it, it takes the state to be called. And yeah, this some people will call on your ass. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> Me. Yeah. No one. I'm going to stay calm. How effective are the calls <laughs> to my, state? My, my, my. Does does it change anything? Does the it change The state has 24 hours to yeah. respond. They have 24 to 48, 48 hours to respond. They must respond. And like I say, one hand washes the other. Nursing is also politics. They know when the state is coming. Yeah. You get all these people all of a sudden. Then all of a sudden you see this person with their clipboard walking the halls looking. Oh, okay, that's the state. Mm -hmm. You know how it go, how they do it, I get it. Mm -hmm. we, they clean how up everything. How many got shut down behind? <laughs> um, usually nursing homes, they'll get the shit sued out of them. They don't shut down, they just change the name. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, I was just going to say that. Don't they just change? They just change the name. St. Sophia lost the patient, so now it's going to be St. Nicholas. Right, and it was a nursing home called St. Sophia's here. Still now it's a right? psych facility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one where the patient walked away. They they wow. lost the patient, and then they lost the patient. Well, I used to work at a nursing home. A lady got out. She, was, she wasn't there 24 hours, walked onto Highway 40, and got hit. Hit. Mm, mm. I remember that story. This was about 12 years mm -hmm. ago. Mm. Damn. Walk out. Mm hmm. How much they get? There's oh, I'm that. sure they sued the hell out of their people. I oh, yeah. the skin off them. <laughs> and then, it, and, and as time went on, mm. they started having financial problems, and it was probably based upon them getting sued, and eventually the name changed. Yeah. Well, they, and they usually, when you change the name, you can get that state funding. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, it's oh. no longer such and such. Yeah. Okay, y'all are now so and so. Mm -hmm. Okay, here go two million. We finna paint. It's we gonna put up a couple of more rooms. Again. Uh huh. Oh, and then yeah. we get sued again. I'm gonna fire all the administration and the DONs. Mm. Now we're gonna be Valley of the Valleys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna <laughs> yeah. go to the state. Oh, okay, here's that two million. Again, they know what they the same day. wash, rinse, Most repeat. Of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wash, rinse, rinse repeat. repeat. Mm. God damn, the audacity. This, I love this show because it, it brings out all the bullshit that go on in life as well as shit like this. That's, that's fucking crazy, man. Mm. Yeah, it is. I never knew that. that Nursing is like yeah. politics. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. what my, I recently said. Like, you know, it's bittersweet. She was like, I don't want to go in hospice. 
So I'm glad she went ahead and passed away at the hospital. But me and her both know what that looks like because my cousin was in hospice. And we was, like I said, taking turns, family and shit. And she said, I ne- April, I never want to be like this. I never want to go through you this. You know what? I, I don't want to decay in the nursing home either. And uh, what a lot of people don't uh-uh. understand, elderly people come there to die. Yep, you go there when stop. you can no longer do for yourself. Mm-hmm. It's like a grown person's daycare center, except they live there. Because at that point, they're going to kill you anyway. I mean, it's very... If they're neglecting your ass, they're going to help. They're going to push it along where they yeah. damn near killing you. Yeah. Because they need that bed. I'm saying, they but need the that neglect... Room. If you if you already to the point where you're about to die, you damn near on hospice, or you just really elderly, and you can still live, but you just elderly, you're going to push that person to an early death because now you've neglected the hell out of them. Yeah, so, it, 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 yeah it speeds it up. It, yeah, it's it going to speed you up. The Ooh, whole Lord, situation. Take me. I don't want, uh-uh. And this particular hospital recently told told my aunt that okay, she's not going to hospice; that she'll be there. And then the next day they was like, well, "We got to send her to hospice." And I was like, "Why are we changing up the plan?" And it was, "Oh, well, it's really no change in plan. I don't know who told her that information." My aunt is not going to hospice, and she was in her right mind when she told me that. But y'all want this bed back. Mm. That's mm. what y'all want. So you mm. just gonna have to wait it out. You just gonna have to wait it out. And you know. So, but you can have sweet. hospice in your house, can't you? Yes, you can. Nobody was available to, like, her grandchildren it would, were too young to do it. And right. that's, she was raising them. Oh. This so wasn't no gradual thing. This happened on a December 8th. Uh-huh. And she passed on the 14th. Uh, but she was disintegrating between that time at the hospital, and they were like, "Well, we're going to put her in hospice." No, she's not going in hospice, mm. you know, until she passes or whatever. And I'm like, "Bro, we not deviating from the plan." Yeah, y'all finna keep her here, and y'all gonna keep her comfortable. And it all, all and that's all it took was for somebody to say that. Mm-hmm. Like you really gotta be Stern. vigilant mm-hmm. on your on behalf of your parent or your aunt or you know your family I'll say yeah. you have to really be vigilant in what it is that you want to see happen now, if that means waving your checkbook around to get it so be it but yep and it's a shame Money that's talk. all they respond to money talking BS walk Always. that's all they respond to and sometimes all it takes is for you to be stern come on we no, got this you know what? and it, it worked I my daughter that. when she was in her car accident and she couldn't walk and the whole thing. They wanted to hurry up and send her over to the um I hate that. The rehab center and all that. Mm. I literally they wanted me gone so bad out there. I literally went up to the administration. I went over the nurses, over the deals and all the other people. Over they and I let, Yeah, because they kept You can do that too. I did. Yeah. To the point where they put me a bed in her room. They wouldn't even they didn't even want nobody staying in a room with them. And they put me a bed in her room, and I literally took care of my daughter, like the, the two weeks that she was in that hospital and couldn't do nothing, couldn't wipe herself, this, that, and the third. I only had them come in there enough to help me assist in bathing because they didn't want that lawsuit if I fell or she fell or something like that. But for the most part, I tell them all the time, I got it. I got you know, it. with some of I these people, it. it's sad to say you have to show your ass. You mm-hmm. really do. And I did. And I'm great at that. So then when they moved her to the <laughs> next room, which was a two-person room, the best friend was in, she was downstairs. I went again to the administration. If these two girls was in a car accident together, the person that was driving passed away. Oh she can't walk. She can't walk. I'm the mother that's here. Yeah. Why would you not put them in the same room? Well, it's traumatizing. It's this. I don't give what it is. Yeah. Now that's true because one could look at the other and remember that night and vice versa. But at the same time, if they best friends. And they want it. They have to. They, they need to be together to heal. But if they to, ask to be together, yeah. no, they, they have that right. Yeah, they were giving me all right. type of heal. Now, if they ask to be together, they have that right. You oh, have well, they, a, when I resident got done, have rights. Yeah. They got done. They was in that room together, and I had a bed in there. So, again, I'm taking care of both of them mm-hmm. in that hospital. We literally was almost in that hospital for like a month. They probably couldn't stand to see you coming. Now, here come this bitch and they're complaining, lady. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's that's what what you, you, you have to be like that. Yeah, yeah. at first it was. They was like, I, every time I see, I know they was rolling in there like, this bitch is here. Hmm. They didn't have to because I didn't go home. I literally had somebody bring me. From the minute where I seen that they neglected my daughter to the point where the, oh, I got the pictures. And I'm hmm. still going through this situation. I got the pictures. She had, you know how they dry wet? Dry, wet to dry. Wet to dry. dry. Uh-huh. Every time they wet it, put it on there, it dried and stuck. Mind you, she, I got the gash in her leg like this Well, here. it's supposed to. It's supposed to suck out that moisture. But it didn't. 
Oh. Because they left it on there for days. No, it's supposed to be done every day. Yeah, exactly. A wet to dry dress. That's my point. So when I saw that first Damn. day, and they literally now are they ripping. Oh, yeah, they're ripping. They'll put on a dress, and I don't mean to cut you off, and not put the date on it. Suppose somebody come, they'll put today's date on it, knowing it's been on there for four days. Mm-hmm. Damn. And, and I too. didn't know that time, and to the point where it was smelling. So it was yeah. getting ready to set gang green. green. They could have really made her lose her leg. Yes. Ooh, when I when I, and then so when they started wet to dry with it, then they started wet to dry. They left it on too long to what it was peeling it off. No, and it was they re- supposed to wet it. it. You supposed to wet it to take it off. I'm telling you, I'm a nurse now in my head. <laughs> okay, because yeah. I learned so much in that process Same. and I cut so know, many people out. You can be a person can require so much care that you have to be in their room at least an hour and a half. Like I said, if it ain't nobody. Who's going to do it? They probably was short. But then, if you got lazy nurses, yeah, No, too. that's what it was. Wow, wow. It was not. It was that. It was the It was the laziness. Mm. It was um, It was more fun to be on the phone. Mm. Mm. Than it was to do Than it job. was to be, yeah. Let's you know see what, what my baby daddy doing. Yeah, then the More other side over there where they kind of, you know, they're going to treat they, until they see, mm. oh, this woman is educated. Oh, this woman got, oh, you well, know, my ex had a couple of dollars, fool. so it wasn't like we was in there broke, because mm-hmm. my ex let it be known. I This is what I do. And I love that when they when they think that you yeah. just don't know. Yeah, because you see her just walking in here, man. I'm like, if you let only me tell you. knew how many medical facts I know, and guess what? I'm about to start quoting. Oh, no, girl. And I when know, I do that, too. they be like, oh, okay, so yeah. she on top of it. When they know you oh, know. They know. Oh, okay. Yeah, when and they I, know I you know. I started that back when I was 19. They, yeah. they were saying the medical terms, and it was going over my head, and then I was like, I don't, I don't, Mama, I don't mm-hmm. know what they saying. Mm-hmm. From that point on, I learned everything I could mm-hmm. from a when medical they know standpoint. You know. Yeah. And anything. When they, they know, like, oh, you she know. It. They attitude change completely. It do. They do. And then yeah. that's where I got the look. Oh, you must be drug seeking because I know the names of the medications that don't work. For you know, me. they have generics too. Yeah. Oh, I know the generic and the actual name. And if these particular medications don't work for me, I'm going to tell you that. Like you have actual Percocets, then you have the narco slash Tylenol. The knockoffs and Tylenol 3. And you're not going to give me that and my migraine go away. I'm telling you. I know. But they probably first, did you go to the ER? Uh, I have to go through the ER. Yeah, they probably gave you a placebo first just yeah. to make sure you weren't faking they that's a sugar me, pill and if you I, keep clowning they'd be like oh her head must really do hurt why they give me a uh what am i allergic to that i didn't know i was allergic right. to and it didn't and it didn't help and i was trying to peel off my skin they was like oh my god i said whatever it is y'all just gave me feel like i ain't coming out of my i'm coming out of my skin right we know that don't work what was do you remember uh no nah, not them wrong uh Shoot, I forget what it was. I told him. I, oh, it was Benadryl. Uh, Benadryl. <laughs> Benadryl. They gave me some Benadryl, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah. I, I can't take Benadryl. I can't take. You allergic to Benadryl? Yes. And guess how I found out when I was in the ER and they gave me and Benadryl. Like and they going to tell me, oh, you'll be oh, fine. Oh, no, you'll be, you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I can't. Benadryl doesn't work for me. And they gave it to me anyway. And I, when I tell you, I was scratching my skin trying to pull. Well, we just got to we just gotta find something else. And my husband was like, everybody, stop. Mm-hmm. Stop. Mm-hmm. See, you can't take that. That's Don't give her that lawsuit. Yeah, because I'm like, baby, told him. Cause, make them stop. Because when we go, to, whenever, because <laughs> April used Please to get, make stop. April yeah. used to get migraines really, really bad, and so yeah. I would go to the hospital. It got to the point we were so used to migraines, I would take the hospital, just drop her off, and then come Later. back and get her. So they'll they'll doctor her up. But this particular time, when we moved back to St. Louis, we went to a couple of little hospitals or whatever. In this particular t- situation, I let her talk because she knows what's going on. I didn't. Right. So, but I knew the one thing about the Benadryl. I knew the Benadryl didn't work. So she, they, she told the woman this white lady, white lady, like my, like this white lady was acting like my wife didn't say shit. Oh no, you'll you'll be fine. You'll they be, always do that. And so I sat there and I was like, oh, and so I was like, okay, well let, let's see then. Mm-hmm. And we waited. My wife was like, she was going through. Ah, oh, I can't. Uh. And so she came back in, and they was a well, you know, and she was trying to Jump. argue my wife. I said, "Hey, stop! Everybody stop! Stop!" <laughs> People know, I, and I don't, I don't lose my cool. Tell you what's wrong I don't with lose you. my cool, but when I, I when I like, said the well, shit, my voice carries. Like, People out there, which was like, everybody stop, like, oh shit, do I get, do I get security? Because <laughs> you know, you're not gonna piss me off. Take care of my woman, y'all. 
whatever experiment you're gonna do, not right now. You're like, yeah. not today. Yeah. Experiment on someone else, not this one. You don't yeah. really right. cook on Facebook. Shit, I, I give a fuck. I give a damn. And we got good insurance, so suck yeah, my dick. I, that's what I feel Yeah, like. that's the part. <laughs> Shit. I got good insurance. We're not supposed Even to be. if I don't have good insurance, I you should still good take insurance. care. I have Aetna. Is that good? I don't know. Well, had you ever had to use it? Not really. Well, I don't know that. You <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You you know, know we we work for General Motors, and yeah. we got some of the best insurance in the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Blue, 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 Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Mm-hmm. Of Michigan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Blue Cross yeah. Blue Shield is that shit? Yeah. Yeah, so when I looked at them, them doctor, those doctor bills that came, and it was like, this is, you know, how they show you this is just the, form. the, the, the breakdown. You don't, have to, you don't have to pay this. This is what's been paid out. You'd be like, damn, I stayed in the hospital for two that weeks. This shit was like $23,000. The highest then was like 75 It was broken all the way down to where it's all we owe, like 180 something dollars. Damn right. <laughs> I sure did. We sure did. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you something. I'd have walked that down there. Thank I would have gave it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cash you. Yeah, I'm going to cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cash have you right now. <laughs> put that in y'all account. I'm going to put that on in y'all account. Sheet. Healthcare yeah. bills are expensive. Yes, they are. Especially hospitals. But the sad part is they can write it off. Mm-hmm. They charge you all this money for shit that they can write off. Mm-hmm. It's about making money. Yeah. And yeah. if nursing homes make millions a month, what you think a hospital mm-hmm. make? Damn near billions. Oh, Damn near. It's harder to Hundreds a hospital million. than it is and to do People are worth a lot of money. <laughs> On the flip side of that, when you got good insurance, you have to be very careful. Because then they'll start doing shit that you didn't need them to do. Yeah, because they want to write that bill. That. I, I was laying, that. I was laying up. They took X-rays. They did an MRI. You know, because I had the now migraine. you need that if you're having a, a oh, headache, unknown sure. why, and it keep coming. Well, why they tell me I had a bleed on the brain and they're getting ready to go in emergency surgery? I said I gotta call my husband. Well, we don't have time for that. I'm like, look, I'm we're not making a move until my mm. husband say we're making a move. So right, I gotta call right. my husband. Somebody came in five minutes later. Oh, that's not a bleed. I don't know what that is. That see when she turned it and it was the wig clip. Oh for Lord, the wig that I had on. They were supposed to make you take your wig. <laughs> right. <laughs> Usually, I, well, they asked me, was there any clips? Well, I'm they like, no, to cut I your head open off. for nothing. But I was like, you ain't That's finna. a lawsuit, too. You ain't finna. These fuckers done cut my head. <laughs> I, wasn't finna let, I wasn't finna let nobody cut my head. Man, he yeah. say so. Go on, put that little C-section in my head so if I can you get want it off. <laughs> your ass. So I get that salon. My whole left side going to be fucked up, but guess what? Man, I'm going to write these checks with my right side. I'm going to put that right little C-section side. right here. And then I would say, I done called. Get you a little butterfly tattoo to cover This shit C-section. shaved off anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been I like, I I'd, have told, I'd have told my daughter, call up here in 15 minutes and tell oh, her you want to read the death When they said emergency it's too surgery, late. I said, oh, no, this game is going I got the far. C-section already. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah. Uh-uh, I need my check. Go on, cover your check. So to go back real quick. <laughs> Uh, Remind me of that movie Booty Call. Yeah. And the hospital scene. They was like, he ain't got no insurance. You going to play golf. That's what I'm saying. Uh, to, to answer the question that I asked uh, Andrea, how do you feel? I mean, how do you deal with a verbally abusive patient? Oh. They, give, they give you four ways on how to deal with that. They said, Same. one, be polite but firm. Yes. When a patient has re. Uh, Re- reoccurring abusive behaviors or makes inappropriate comments address the issue as soon as it as it occurs two walk away mm-hmm. three question the reason behind the behavior and in worst case scenario four just call security if it gets there yeah some of it you can handle yourself yeah well i worked in a place where a, one resident had a gun oh and he took a shot at a staff member a janitor Holy okay, shit. why does he why, have why an active gun? Because weapon. at this, at this, nur- this was a what you call a ghetto nursing home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The players in the hood. leave daily. <laughs> you know, and they have a right to leave. They can come and go. Come back. You still alive. You just live they in sneaking, the They sneaking them young hoes in. Okay. He came back with a gun. He did not like this guy. But apparently they had beef on the streets. Oh, this my This was God. a young <laughs> resident. Look at this beef on the streets. He was probably no older than like 38 to 40. Mm, and he went out and he got a gun. It was it made the news. This was some a while about at least ten years ago. Did well, he no, make it no, to prison? Probably eight years <laughs> ago. Mm. Yes, they arrested him. Mm. Dummy. Come on, man. Coming here with a gun. Boy. He thought he was safe because he was in a nursing home. Boy st- mm. st- sheer stupidity. <sighs> That, that motherfucker need had a brain brain bleed. He needs surgery, dumbass. Or oh, he just tired of this man picking on him. 
or messing with him or no, neglecting him. Like I said, he was a younger resident. Him and the janitor apparently had. Beef. Oh, you said janitor. Yeah. Oh, okay. What you thought I was saying? My they, bad. They oh, had well, beef. I said on my the brain streets. stopped for a second because I, I was thinking about the C-section. I was trying to get a check. Yeah, I mean, oh, C-section. Butterfly tattoo. Was it butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> I used to talk to the residents the way they talked to me, and I know that sound crazy because y'all know I can I can go there verbally, but I did. I would be changed. I'm gonna bite you. And they, if they say they gonna, I'm gonna bite your ass right the fuck back. Now hold still, and I would. That's how I talked to them the way they talked to me. That's the way I talked to them. I had some residents who was like, "Oh, okay. Well, it was nice to see you today. All right, appreciate you know after you done cleaned them up and everything, and they sit up for the day and whatnot. And they family coming soon." Then you just get the ones stuck my dick. You don't get that. Yeah. But you know the ones that love you. Hold though. on, I remember. Hold on, it just dawned on me. There was a chick I fucked with years ago. Thick little motherfucker. Uh, I don't say her name. But that was back in the day when all the CNAs drove around with Chevy Cavaliers with with, with Tweety, <laughs> with, Tweety Bird, with Tweety Bird uh, steering wheel and, and, and seat covers. I remember her, and she had that was uh, the official CNA um, car. Uh, and yes, it logo. was. Yes, it was. Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Uh, Tweety Bird. CNAs had all them Tweety Bird logos and uh, cover, seat covers and steering wheel stuff. That was a Betty Boo girl. And uh, uh, they had Betty, Betty Boo, Boo too. Yeah, Betty yeah, Boo. Yeah, yeah. Driving, so driving right. Chevy Cavalier, and I remember her because she was my one of my little one of my I baddest little bras I used to fuck with, little curvy little motherfucker. And she had told me, I remember, I remember this like like yesterday. She was she was trying to change a woman's uh, situation, an older white woman's situation, and she was like, "You fucking nigger, I hate you fucking nigger, hope you all die." Da 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 da. You know, she was just really on it, and she was like, "She said, look here, you old bitch. I see that way your son look at me. I'm a fuck him." Have his baby because I'm ovulating and take all this little money. That, that <laughs> white lady lost her shit. Yeah. I, when she told me that, I was yeah. rolling. <laughs> I, I was rolling. Because shit. Get in their head like they try to get in yours. So I don't know what happened. Maybe she fucked a white man. I don't know. But <laughs> no, maybe she got <laughs> a check. Maybe she got that check. Old girl said I got his check. She's like, I see, I see how your son look at me. I'm ovulating too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get all this little money. <laughs> That's their language. <laughs> ovulating. Yeah, that probably killed her right there. Uh, ovulating. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A, a nigga no, great really. baby. A nigga baby. put them niggers up in our family. Them colored. I, them colored. the ones that act like they ain't did nothing. You done talked all this shit. Then somebody your family come in. Oh, hey, so-and-so. I'm like, you son of a... Mm. Yeah, That's all right. why a lot I of love Nurse Betty. Too, they'll put their... Based upon how you cared about your mother, you could tell yeah. where you mm -hmm. put her. Yeah, that's like exactly it. Ball, when he mm -hmm. put his father in that all-black nursing home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tell. He said, you must really love your daddy. He said, no. Not really. This is why I put him in here with y'all. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. he going to call y'all your name. Y'all going to whoop his ass. <laughs> he was racist. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put him there. Oh, and the no, he fell in love with Halle Berry. I think she yeah. killed the racism. I don't know. I think he still had two, three niggas in him. <laughs> he had, yeah, let the right one come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit, let him say the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, let him say the wrong and thing. That shit That's out, even bitch. like these all uh, part, the, the ones that want to be so hip. This, they got one off. Let's do the right thing. They going to slip them. <laughs> you fucking. You gonna, yeah, I don't put it against You going to find out how fast what they think of your ass. You sit there. <laughs> I know the one we worked at, they would um, piss a person off. Them they'll tell the you what you, they think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just give them, yeah, piss them off. If they talking, if they and give talking them a second. Mm -hmm. they, they would roll them out to the hall and face them towards the wall. And we did, when I was learning to be time a CNA, out. they did, we did that experiment and they was like, so how do you feel? And you ain't even been sitting here two minutes looking at this wall. And I'm ready to lose it. I'm sitting in the wheelchair looking at the wall like, I can't get up. I can't go nowhere. You mean, and they be like, yeah. And they do them patients like that. Oh, 45 yeah. 45 minutes to an hour. That's they hard. They staring at the wall. That, yeah. That's, that's time out. Well, that's neglect. you don't want to be yeah. bothered with them. Now, that is neglect. That's neglect. Yeah. You Man, got them up, you if got I'm walking in, dress, I see my mama facing a wall in this nursing <laughs> I'm telling you, skip jail. I'm going straight to I prison. Really, I don't care how broad like my own Y'all going to see me on the is, news. Man, that ain't, that's, not, that's not your job to handle yeah. that. The job is to keep them safe and clean. Your and job, yeah. Care of. You know, your job ain't to uh, neglect them. You ain't getting paid. Sit their ass in the corner. That bill means this episode is now done, yo. It's done, done. Done, 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 yo. Done, 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 done. Once again, we uh, want to thank Andrea for coming out, for sharing us with us the tidbits sharing and the deep tea on uh, 
how these nurses' homes were ran or lack thereof and the bullshit and the audacity yeah. of the nursing home industry. Yeah, um, uh, right now on our socials, you can check us out on Audio Audacity Podcast on Facebook. Audio underscore Audio underscore Audacity underscore podcast on IG, which is very ain't a lot of owner, so just you know, y'all can just bypass that bullshit. All that. Whoa. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you can go to uh YouTube, check us out on Audio Audacity Podcast on YouTube. Uh, you can listen to us on Google, Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Spreaker, or anywhere else podcasts are being checked out. And um, in well, parting, remember, remember, if you got the gall to do it, we have the audacity to talk, talk about, about it. it. Once again, y'all, check us out next week. Here we go. Bye. Bye.